Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. NECA have unveiled their 7 inch Ultimate Michael Myers figure from Halloween Kills. You're going to be able to pre order this from madabouthorror.co.uk. That's where I'm going to get mine. That's where you should get yours. Best in the business. They will send it to you all safely packaged up and in mint condition. Just a great service. So that's Mad About Horror. It is the packaging for the figure as predicted it's the film poster and i gotta say putting my own personal feelings and love for the franchise aside i gotta that's just one of the coolest film posters ever it's got to be in the top 100 i know there's some classic posters out there but that just just does it for me the coloring the it's, it's perfect i'm glad that's the packaging artwork very happy with that now here is not everything you get with the piece. This is mainly just showing you the weapons here. There's another picture coming up where you can see all the extra hands and even the extra Michael Myers sculpt as well. But here we have the weapons. You've got the Halligan tool that he takes from the firefighter and turns it against them, lifting them off the ground and impaling them. I haven't seen the film yet at the time of me making this video. It is not yet October 15th. Still a little ways to go. But you get the baseball bat which I assume he takes that from, is it Tommy when he's grown up? Uh, we've seen him in the trailer wielding the baseball bat with the mob coming after Myers, so maybe Myers, that's a, maybe a little bit of a spoiler there, who knows? You get the skull mask from uh, the ones we saw briefly in 2018, paying tribute to Season of the Witch Part 3, so that's a cool mask to have, nice blood work on there. You get two kitchen knives, two different styles, one bloody, one clean, and the light that he detaches and then plunges into that poor lady's neck. What's she do to deserve that, huh? We'll see. October 15th. I'm sure nothing. She was the lady who was at the cemetery in 2018 when the two journalists were doing a really kind of odd, pervy description of the, uh, the murders that took place in 78. Anyway, those are all the weapons you get. And pretty happy the battle damage on the suit the coveralls look really good the burning on the shoulder there and the extra wounds and bullet holes and stuff you're going to see some more damage on that in a picture coming up but yeah you got two michael myers head sculpts just like you did with the 2018 ultimate figure so maybe it's a case of one has the eyes a bit more visible inside the mask and the other one they're a bit more kind of blacked out i'm hoping that's the case uh, obviously when we see the film there might be a very good reason for there being two separate sculpts and they're just not focusing on it too much here as to you know not to spoil anything for us but you get three bandaged hands on his left side with the missing fingers all in different poses positions for holding different accessories i guess and it looks like just one right hand for holding onto a knife that pumpkin in the background i'm not too sure if that actually comes with this guy because he wasn't i didn't see it in the picture we just saw unless i missed it uh, but I know the 2018 came with a pumpkin with a little LED feature, which was nice. The articulation seems great, just like the last one. And similar to the Ultimate Halloween 2 Dick Warlock Myers figure from NECA. That was a really good piece. And there's a double pack coming out soon with Loomis. Again, you can get that from madaboutthorror.co.uk. Swoop in, snatch it while you can. Here he is, holding up his two digits. With the kitchen knife, the clean one in his hand. A nice little diorama there. I guess that's just for the photography. I mean, it'd be nice if NECA started pumping out some dioramas for these figures. I know they've done some for Turtles in the past and maybe some others as well. You've always got Glenn Page from Cult Creations on Instagram who can custom make you this stuff. He's pretty nifty. I do say so myself. But not too many close-up pictures apart from the one at the very beginning of the video of the mask itself. But you can see the battle damage, the burn on the side there. Even the hair, the burning on the hair seems really good. There he is holding the baseball bat. A nice look at the damage on his arm there as well. See some cuts I've never noticed before on the burnt side, kind of at the back of his arm there. That's an interesting detail. So, holding on to the baseball bat, looking really mean. Good articulation. Really good paintwork on the piece as well from the looks of things. And that's a nice shot because we get a decent look at that blood work on the knife, which it seems to be painted really well. The blood work on the skull mask looks really nice as well, and the detail on the bandaged hand holding the mask looks very good also. So I'm very pleased with that, showing the uh, good articulation there for walking poses. Good looking boots. And there's the light. Now what's the name of the light now? It escapes me. As soon as you hit record, these things just go out of your head. But that particular style of light, and that doesn't look, I mean it looks obviously very bloody but not very jagged at the end. I don't know. Let's see. 
just can't wait to see this film folks it's not too far off now the final picture of him holding the Halligan tool which is bloody on one end and pretty decent look at the burnt side of the mask there too so really good very very much looking forward to getting this folks again order yours at madaboutthorror.co.uk and drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it make sure you subscribe to the channel i'll see you soon take it easy bye bye <laughs>